Hello, welcome to another vlog. It's been a while. This time we're heading to Macau for the World Cup. Last race of the season, the most craziest race of the season. Quite excited. I think it's going to be quite a cool vlog. It was quite a cool race, track, environment. So I uh, thought it was a good one to restart. It's currently 4 a.m. in the morning. I'm standing on the treadmill in the gym. Don't ask me why. No, I've always struggled with jet lag going to Macau, as long as I can remember. I was in Bahrain the last couple of days, so I didn't really adapt to the time here. But decided to get up early and try to live to the Macau time zone already. My brother Dries will probably laugh at it. I would probably think it's a good idea, so oh yeah, we'll see. Enjoy the vlog! sleep reasonably well for the time difference being. Uh, so I just arrived in Hong Kong. Let's go to customs, then uh, still on up one of our drive to Macau, I think. And then uh, we'll head to the track. No bag. For once in my lifetime, I put everything inside my bag. My race stuff, my helmet, my hands. But they promised me they would deliver today. I played the kind of I'm a race car driver, Macau cart. And like, oh, oh. I think they will try to bring my bag for tonight. Because it also has my chocolate and my gluten-free bread and oatmeal. So, you know, I'm trying to say cool. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lawrence Vantor. I'm driving for Toro Racing in the Porsche 911 GT3R here at the 70th edition of the Macau uh, Grand Prix, Fiat GT World Cup. Macau is always insane. It's difficult to overtake, so everybody is pushing a lot in qualifying, it's pushing a lot in the first couple of corners. And uh, you know, the starting list of the, the Fiat GT World Cup is, is quite impressive this year with a lot of big names. And I think everybody's here to, to win, so uh, that will make it even more intense. Uh, in 2017, when uh, well, we won the race on, on the roof, I try to forget about it, but everybody keeps reminding me every day when I come here. But uh, yeah, it's special, I understand. And uh, I would have preferred to win the race normally. So yeah, we'll go down in the history books like that, and uh, yeah, hopefully I can get a normal one uh, with Porsche this weekend, would be nice. So here we are, and to make a seat. It's quite funny how it works. It's all these little balls, and they mix it with chemicals. It's like a giant bag, and you sit in it, and you move around until you have the perfect fit. And then they suck all the air out of it, and uh, now I need to wait here for 40 minutes until it gets uh, hard. Cut uh, the extras off, cover it with fireproof clothing, and then uh, you have a seat which should fit perfect. Sometimes it goes wrong, but it uh, should be good. Especially as a track here in Macau, uh, it's quite nice to have a good and safe seat. So, First day at the track done, it's uh, 6.30. Quite tired, but trying to stay awake until 10, 11 at least. If not, I will be awake two hours later. All the mechanics were tired. My teammates from Porsche, which I knew on our day yet. So it's uh, a dinner in the room while finishing Salt, movie I started watching in the plane. Chicken and rice soup, which I never had before. Not that fancy, <laughs> and high style, lifestyle, what you want to call it, but, uh, and then trying to stay awake, which I have no idea how to do. Hopefully my luggage will arrive tonight, because uh, I would like to change my underwear. Day, day two in Macau. <laughs> uh, my bag has arrived, good news. So I got my food, my running stuff as well, which is good news because I'm going for a little run and then going to the track around lunchtime. Another day of preparations, more like driver's briefing, meetings, pictures, videos, all of that stuff. Tomorrow I finally go driving, just trying to relax a little bit and save energy before heading over there. So uh, see you later. Hello, I'm on way to the track for Thursday, day three. Finally, we start driving today. Very excited. Two sessions, only two times half an hour. It's 10 in the morning, went for a little Starbucks. Need some caffeine for this track. And uh, now heading to the team. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Uh, it's gonna be cool. I'm gonna, hopefully the car's gonna be good and it's gonna be quite fun uh, to drive around. I 
done, it went pretty well. Scrutineering, so check all my gear, uh, licenses, uh, the weight, and all of that. So uh, that's all done. Now we have some more pictures in the afternoon, some more meetings, but uh, pretty relaxed. So uh, I'll give you a small uh, tour of our pit box. Uh, it's quite special here in Macau, it's not very big, but uh, should be cool to watch it. Enjoy! This is Ringo, the big boss. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Uh, not very big, but it's always like this in uh, Macau. I think a couple of years ago we were even in the in the garages downstairs. So it's, uh, it's quite cool, spot, it's quite special. It's always been like this. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out of the way because everybody is working hard. And I grab some lunch. Was? <laughs> how it started? How it is going in Macau? Yep. I'm trying to keep it healthy. Versus. The Monday crew. How was day one in Macau, uh, Kai? Spicy <coughs> McChicken. <laughs> Understood the car around the street of Macau. Now it's still in one piece. Still in one piece, just slice the left hand side. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> actually, I think it was a little more because actually the even the housing of the left hand side mirror was jumped out of it. The, the, the mirror was closed and then two corners later it popped back out. Yeah. <laughs> Just scratches, I think this is when you're quick here, you need to have scratches. So, so far so good. Let's see tomorrow. Wie isst du dein Burger? Hälfte, Hälfte. Isst du erst das Brötchen und dann der Rest oder was? Nein, was? obere Hälfte, untere Hälfte. Ich will ja nicht komplett beim Matsch sein. Ich will zu Deutsch. <lacht> und die Gurke isst du überhaupt nicht? Ja. Nee. Einer Deutsch, der keine Gurken isst. Hm? Wir gehen. Day one of driving is uh, in the books. That's the match. It's even worse. It's even worse. I don't know what that is. Pretty decent day. Uh, first session was good. Second place. Second session we were P8. We tried something uh, particular for qualifying, which wouldn't be ideal for the result of practice two. Nevertheless, I think we did some changes, but maybe not the best. But we, yeah, we learned about it. I think if we if we put everything together, car and I put everything together, driving wise, I think we we should be able to qualify on the front row. But of course, everybody will say that, so uh, we'll see tomorrow. But I mean, this place is just, it's insane. The first session I was, when I did my fastest lap up to then, like, okay, wow, this was crazy. I'm on the box now, I've had enough, like, cars in one piece, I'm on one piece. <laughs> there was one more lap to go, and I was like, every time the finish flag drops, it just back up the pace straight away. It's okay, no damage, I'm fine, everything's okay. It's a crazy, crazy place, but it's so beautiful at the same time. But your heart rate is so high. You're, you know, after half an hour, you're quite exhausted because you know it's so on the limit and can quickly go go wrong. But it's uh, it's cool. It's very cool. So I'm happy to be back here, and I really hope we can do a good result tomorrow. Qualify will be very important here. So fingers crossed. It's been a long day, so I'm gonna lay a bit in bed, watch some TV. See you tomorrow. Yeah, 
Kurve 2 ist jetzt viel besser beim Eingang. Du bist unterstützt von Mitte Exit. Uh, we finished fourth in qualifying. Pretty happy to be honest. The first run was very good. Uh, the second run was a bit of traffic and uh, had to fight a bit to get a clear lap, but we ended up fourth, which I think was the maximum possible. Uh, the car felt really good, so I'm happy with uh, the work we've done. Uh, I think the Mercedes is quite quick, so it won't be easy, but uh, we'll try. It's Macau. The start will be important, first corner will be important, and uh, yeah, second row. So still everything into play for tomorrow. So, main race in Macau is done, we finished in 6th place, it was tough, I tried a lot and I think it was the maximum we had. Uh, after yesterday we uh, took a lot of wing and downforce of the car to try and defend for the others in the straight line, uh, which worked but it was very tough to drive, but yeah, we managed the best we could, it was a nice weekend to work together with Toro Racing, hopefully we can come back next year and uh, fight for a win. So, that was Macau. And at the same time, the 2023 season, I think Macau in the end was probably slightly disappointed. Started out really well with practice and, and also qualifying. I think we were doing really well and we were not too far off. We were maybe not the favorites, but still a chance to you know at least be on the podium. But then the race turned out that we were pretty unraceable, let's say, in terms of yeah how we were balanced in the field, let's say. We were very slow on the straight line, which made it very hard to, to race and do the start. and lost positions at starts and restarts and then on the mountain you drive behind that was quite frustrating somehow a bit summary of the year <laughs> to do a 2023 review probably a podcast but personally i'm quite happy i think uh, if you compare it to last year it was one of my lows i think this year was probably one of my my better seasons now it's a week of holiday i'm gonna sit here eat a lot of food try not to train Next week we'll go testing again in Qatar. It's only one week, but uh, more than enough, spend the time with the missus, Jacqueline, and uh, then we'll come back soon again. Hope you enjoyed the vlog, and uh, see you soon.